In 1951, the Soviet Union launched an extensive program of research in the biological factors of space flying. The research was conducted with animals, primarily dogs. Here are the first space scouts, Maleshka, Atvajnaya, Snizhinka. Before going into space, they went through a number of laboratory tests on the ground. The animals will undergo great overstrain from increased gravitational pull. Accordingly, the research program called for physiological testing by means of a centrifuge. Here, the effect of acceleration is studied. The centrifugal force increases, as it were, the weight of the body, alters the conditions of blood circulation, and causes tension in all functions of the organism. This straining inured the dogs to great overstrain at the firing of the rocket. The rocket's working engines produce a strong vibration, which not every organism can endure. In view of this, the animals were tested on vibro stands before being selected for space flying. The return to Earth may be accomplished by different methods. One of them is catapulting. Numerous tests and exercises inured the dogs to the overstrain at the separation of the cabin from the nose of the rocket. Here, the cabin has separated from the rocket. In the laboratory, the cabin is held by a cable. On an actual flight, it's parachuted to the ground. After such training, the dogs can go on a rocket test flight. All that goes on in the rocket is thoroughly watched from the ground. Radio signals regularly bring information on the condition of the animals. The rocket is gaining momentum and the dogs experience overstrain. Inured to it, they take it well. This is shown by their pulse, breathing, blood pressure. The boost period has ended and weightlessness has commenced. Look, on the right, a metal object is floating in the air. The dog watches its movement. This indicates that the animal's sense organs are functioning normally. In another rocket, the animals in a state of weightlessness have completely lost their bearings. The larger animals on the left, being impelled by their self-preservation instinct, are quicker to sense the situation and adapt themselves to the strange condition. After reaching the prescribed altitude, the space scouts return back to Earth. From other rockets, the animals are catapulted to the ground. back from space, the dogs feel fine and seem to have enjoyed the trip. The biological research program with the use of animals was an important and necessary stage on the road to manned space flying.